Last time, we were introduced to his life outside the ring. This time, we'll see him get down to business. Hey everybody, I'm Kara Castanova for Intersect TV, and this is True Fan Boxing. Paulie Malignaggi will be taking on Amir Khan at Madison Square Garden on May 15th. But before he steps into the ring, Paulie will be training hard to be in the best shape of his life. I got to experience this firsthand when he invited me out to the Fight Factory Gym in Brooklyn, New York. Hi, it's Kara. I'm here at the Fight Factory in Brooklyn. We're watching Paul and Malinaji train, and I'm here right now with his co-manager, Anthony. How does it feel to work with someone like Paulie, who has such an out-there personality? Uh, first of all, he's a joy. He's not the, uh, the average fighter talent-wise and uh, personality-wise. Paul is a high-maintenance fighter, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm privileged and honored to work with him. And what's your relationship with Paulie? I know that like you're very close to him. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about that? My best friend. We're like brothers, and I've been with him his whole pro career. You know, just come to the gym with him every day, help him out. Do you guys hang out a lot? All the time. I can't, I can't get rid of him. Hard at the gym? Oh, Paulie always works hard. He's, he's working even when he's not working. Um, you know, he's working at home, he's working at the gym, he's always constantly thinking. And, and if he's not working physically, he's, he's working mentally. I know Paulie's like really cut. He's like, he doesn't drink. He basically just looks like he's really well behaved. I do all the drinking for him. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't drink. He doesn't drink. <laughs> Feel like you're ready for this fight? Uh, I will be. I will be. Uh, work is going good. Uh, I think we're we're on good. Our timing is getting there, uh, and uh, I think we'll peak at the right time. How do you think he's looking right now for the fight? Uh, for the fight, everything is is moving fine. Everything is uh, uh, going uh, beautifully uh, according to schedule. And uh, we already started uh, putting the sparring in, and uh, he's looking really sharp. Uh, he's a handful of times. He's a perfectionist. Uh, he demands that from his team, and in all honesty, uh, he deserves it because he's, uh, you know, he's the top pound for pound uh, fighter in the world. So Paulie's fighting in Madison Square Garden, which I'm sure is very exciting for both of you because you're both New Yorkers. And how do you feel about that? It's I think it's great. It's a long time overdue. He hasn't fought in New York since 2007. It's like constantly traveling, traveling. We really wanted him to fight in New York, and now he has the perfect stage set. Uh, all the New Yorkers that have been waiting to see him haven't seen him since, you know, three years live. So it's an opportunity for them to all come out. Um, we can get a second world title at home, which is always you know, a dream. So uh, we're really excited about that more than anything else. Uh, I feel like at this point in my career, I've hired the right people, I've gotten rid of the wrong people that I had, and uh, I think training is going excellent. And uh, I've really put together a 2009 where I had consistent performances, and I think 2010 will also be the same. And really it comes down to the consistency, you know, uh, as long as I can be consistent, I'm very tough to beat. And uh, I think with a strong team around me that I have now, uh, coupled with the hard work I'm putting in, the consistency is there. Come May 15th, we're going to take that belt and we're going to keep it in Brooklyn. That's the game plan. So. Just keep that in mind and, and remember what I said. Want more? Go to InnisectTV.com to connect with the world of sports. Real-time updates, blog postings, and all the action you can handle in a sec. InnisectTV.com, connecting you to the world of sports. This spring is going to be huge for boxing in New York. First, Malinaji Khan at the Garden. Then Miguel Cotto will be looking to take away Yuri Foreman's championship belt at Yankee Stadium. This will be the first fight at Yankee Stadium in over three decades, and our own Jay Monty was at the press conference to get the scoop on this historic event. Hi, Jay Monty with True Fan Boxing. Yankee Stadium has not held a major boxing event in over three decades, yet on June 5th, Yankee Stadium will be holding the Kodo Yuri Foreman title fight. Yankee Stadium was, is, and will always remain a fabric in the life of boxing. I'm proud to announce 
that on Saturday evening, June 5th, Yankee Stadium in conjunction with Top Rank will present a battle in the Bronx, the Battle of the Boroughs, a stadium slugfest, when Miguel Cotto from Puerto Rico, with a tremendous following in the Bronx, will face off against the super welterweight champion from Belarus, who now resides in Brooklyn, Yuri Foreman. I know uh, there's going to be a tough fight for us, tough fight for uh, Yuri too, but we are the, the owners of our, our destiny. To be a world champion, it's, it's, it's not fighting just easy fights, it's actually fighting another world champions, you know, and uh, Miguel Cotto is another world champion, and, and, and you know, defending the world title against Miguel Cotto, it's, it's a dream coming true. We're going to have a great, great time here. The fans are going to enjoy themselves, just as they did in Cowboy Stadium for the Pacquiao Claudio fight. For more on these matchups or your favorite boxers, check out the boxing channel on InnoSecTV.com. There, you can find all the latest news, videos, and tweets from around the internet. That's it for this edition of Truth Band Boxing. For Jay Monty, I'm Kara Kastanova. Thanks for watching.